These renders show what the IM2 mission is expected to look like through animation. We asked the mission team how closely these animations are to reality. Hello everybody, my name is Michael Elke and I'm the payloads integration manager for Intuitive Machines. Um, I've been working with the company for the past six years on these lunar missions and we're really excited about our IM2 mission. All right. And there comes our uh, small rover with the Nokia experiment. This will be an exciting moment. We have our partners, Lunar Outpost and Nokia that we've been working with on this for four years. So what we have there are the redundant antennas. That This is a really great animation for that shows how we methodically roll the rover out, check out that Nokia system really close to the lander, but we really do hope to get all over a kilometer away eventually. That first rover really is, is proving out the technology for these small rovers. No rover that small has been on the moon yet. And what we're demonstrating is that we can do meaningful science with that carrying small one and two kilogram payloads. The goal on this one is really to see if we can get out to about a kilometer to test that Nokia radio system. Very robust little rover. This will stay pretty close to the lander. And I think really shows the power of being able to use a very simple system. Great blast off from the hopper. And that is way faster than the hopper is probably going to fly. <laughs> but that, that is the right sequence we're looking at um, from the rover. The second small rover we're probably going to deploy later in the mission. Um, but you know, things change. One of the things we have to really study when we get to the surface is we're going to look at the sun angle. We're going to check our comms to Earth. We may find that we have to accelerate and try to accomplish all of this in only four or five days instead of what we plan to be a 10-day mission. That's part of the excitement of going to the moon, and, and we're trying to work that far from home. That is an amazing takeoff. And that's really an amazing sequence, and it's it's really a good example of how we can never do that with a rover. You can never do that with the lander. And that's why we created the hopper, so that we can actually go into these dark places that would be highly risky to take a large lander and too steep of a slope for a rover to get in and out of the crater. Get down in there, stay in there for about an hour, grab the science, and then hop back out. So that's just a fantastic animation. It's a perfect encapsulation of what we're doing on this mission. Notice how that drill de deploys down. We've got a sun shield there uh, to protect the drill piles from, um, from the sunlight. And the idea is that we're digging down into you know, a half meter, one meter below the surface, bringing those drill tailings up. And, and there's a um, mass spectrometer that's going to be looking right at that pile 
um, studying to see if we have any traces of water vapor coming off that pile. That, that is a perfect encapsulation. We're gonna do 15 of those over the course of the mission, progressively going deeper.